If you give a person a fish, you feed him for a meal. But if you teach that person how to fish, you feed that person for life. Wow. This applies to just about everything in our human existence. In fact, it is fascinating that even in all the spiritual treaties, all the great masters, they always let their disciples work out their own salvation by themselves. Every spiritual tradition depicts the disciple finally working out their own salvation. Granted, under the guidance of the master, but the master does not enter nirvana for his disciple. The Lord Jesus Christ consistently told those he saved or healed, your faith has saved you. The same master Jesus Christ teaches us somewhere in his own gospel. Those who persevere will save their lives. And his mouthpiece, the amazing Apostle Paul, admonishes us in his letters and his epistles. You must work out your salvation with fear and trembling. The same master Jesus Christ is teaching us. Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. What is my point? My point, my friends, is that anyone who makes you depend on them by giving you constantly handouts, by giving you things rather than teaching you how to generate those things for yourself, that person is feeding their ego as a giver, as an originator of your goodness, of your good. In the final analysis, that power is within you. Whatever you need in your life, whatever you want, you will be the one to generate it. The master said it clearly. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. See here, he's pointing the finger at you to ask, to seek, and to knock. You, ultimately, because of your dignity, because of your free will, you ultimately are the one who generates, who co-creates your future with God. I don't care if we're talking about material possession, spiritual enlightenment, intellectual prowess, intellectual abilities, artistic abilities, I don't care what it is. Whatever it is that your heart desires, you alone can give that to yourself. You alone. The tools permeate creation. The tools are there. They've been around for ages. They've been around. They're represented in different formats by different teachers. But all of them are pointing to the same ultimate truth. If I give you one fish, I feed you for a meal. If I teach you how to fish, I will fish you for, I will teach you, I will feed you for life. Stop expecting others to do for you what only you can do for yourself. As a matter of fact, if things are done for you, sooner or later, when you awaken, you will feel that your dignity has been trampled underfoot. For indeed you have within you that which you seek out there. It shocks me when people are always blinded by material possession. People are blinded. People are blinded by all manners of things. They fail to realize that anything that they're looking for is dim within them. Jesus even tells us that the kingdom of God that we seek is within us. The kingdom of God is in us. That's why he's saying you cannot say it's over there, it's right here, da da da. No, the kingdom of God is within you. Today, I want to share with you this very shocking truth that no one can ever give you anything, anything lasting.
you are giving yourself the things that you ultimately receive as a matter of fact if you're listening to this recording you may be fooling yourself into thinking i am giving you some instruction i'm giving you no instruction at all you only came to this recording because you are ready you are offering yourself this recording i just happen to be a mouthpiece i'm not giving you anything i'm doing my own thing i'm doing my own thing i was born to do this stuff i can't help it it nags me if i don't do it this spiritual truth they are in me they're quickened in me and the desire for me to share them is so intense that without sharing them, I feel suffocated. I feel constipated spiritually. And this is my opportunity to share something precious. But my sharing is blessing me even more than you're receiving of it. So what's the deal for you? Maybe when you hear this, it will trigger in you something that you already triggered before. And this recording is just a pointer to something that is going back inside of you. Why? Because you are the center of the universe, as shocking as it may sound to you. We are all invested in the same mystical body. And because we are in that mystical body of the Savior and the Creator of the universe, we have everything. In the story of the prodigal son, when the older brother is mad because his younger brother went and squandered his life with prostitute and came back and father still loved him, when he was angry, father told him, you're here with me always. Everything I have is yours. What is it that you think you lack? Intelligence? Good looks? Money? What? What is it that you believe that you, you would love to have that for some reason life is denying you? Return into the chambers of your inner being. You will find in there all the treasures of the universe. I have. My treasure a sharing knowledge. It gives me joy that nothing else can give me in this world. And that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm contributing this recording that probably may change your life. May not. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm already enjoying this process. No one can ever give you anything. No one. Yeah, they may give you some money. But the money they give you is because you are worthy of it. And now, I'm making a massive distinction between you becoming a mendicant, a beggar, an idiot, and you owning and deciding that I am the co-creator of my life with Almighty God. I will open the floodgates of heaven and let all the blessings pour upon me. The day that you decide that, you will see miracles. I've said it before. What is it that you desire? Make sure you know it very clearly. It may take many iterations for you to isolate that. But when you do, the Holy Spirit will convict you that this is it. There will be joy in their heart. It may not be like quickening, like massive joy, but a sense of, mm -hmm, this is it. There will be a sense of having arrived, of having touched it. A aha moment. This is the things, these are the things that bring me joy. These are the things that I love. To be involved in when you find that miracles will start to unfold in your life people will come from places you never suspected before breaks breakthroughs will come into your life in miraculous ways and then you will believe it when it says ask and it shall be given to you seek and you will find knock and the door will be open these things will only happen because you have decided this thing will happen because the whole world is in you and everything that you need and desire is already inside of you and when i say this i don't want anyone to misconstrue this to be pointing to material things no 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 that's not what this recording is all about it's all about being you being the one that god created it's about being self-actualized it's about you embracing your light it's about you taking your mantle and becoming a blessing to the rest of the world let me repeat it no one 
could ever give you anything consequential unless you, yes you, have already owned it in your mind's eyes. You are great beyond measure. You are endowed in so many ways that you could not even begin to imagine. And the only gap between you and that realization, the only distance, the only barrier between you and that wonderful manifestation is you deciding enough is enough. I want to start living. I want to embrace my life. I want to embrace my light and start living now. No one can give you anything. I cannot give you anything. Your dad can't give you anything. Your husband or wife can't give you anything. Your child can't give you anything. All the things that are consequential and meaningful in your life are the things you give yourself. And I'm going to end by reminding you that even the master of the universe, the Lord Jesus Christ, each time the healings or the miracles were completed, he will tell the people, your faith has made you whole. Your faith has healed you. Your faith has saved you. Where is your faith? What have you done with your faith? Because faith is the realization of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Now go to work right now in the chambers of your mind and armed with your pen and pencil. Write down and decree those things that you yearn for. Iterate them until they converge to what it is your heart's desire and let the world see your greatness for you are amazing you are a legend you are legendary let us witness and see your legend and rejoice as we thank god for you amen amen